Jake and Cody here with How to Alaska. And today we're going morel mushroom picking on a burn. So we're heading down to the Kenai Peninsula to the Swan Lake Fire. And uh, we are going to look for some morels in a burn area. We've already found some morels um, outside of the burn areas. And we know that people have been finding them in this burn area. It's kind of a popular spot to pick because they come up so good in a burn area. So we're going to see how we do. And we're going to see if we can get enough morels to dehydrate and save for later. We're going through this Swan Lake burn area. There are a lot, there's a lot of area. We think that uh, a lot of this area gets picked by the highway. We already saw people parked to go picking. And we want to find some, so we're going to kind of get off the beaten path a little bit. All right, so here we are. We're at the burn area. And we're going to find some morels, hopefully. We already stopped at a second year burn and found some. So Bethany found one right there. And then over here, here one is, right here. It's in pretty good shape. Here one is. Oh, that was easy to miss. Here's here's a nice fresh one. These are getting old. We probably should leave some of these, but there's one back in there. Can you see it? There's one back in it. And got some morels. All right, go ahead, pick it. So this is a spot right up under here, and uh, they're they're coming out before my eyes. See right here, they're appearing, getting my eyes accustomed. This spot wasn't too bad, so there's a few. They're they're kind of on the old side, but I see some fresher ones coming up over here. All right, so we're on the mushrooms. So there's a baby bunny sitting there jumping under there. And I look down and there's morels coming up. One right there, one right there, one right there. There's probably a bunch more. So we're in the zone right here. One right where? Luke has some morels here and they are spectacular. Show me. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Put them in. Oh yeah, they are the biggest. There we go. We're adding up. Oh, don't touch that one. Okay. No, nice, Luke. Come towards me. There's a nice big one right in front of you. No, turn, turn towards me right there. And then there's two back there, but they must have gone. And then this one right here, monster, monster gray. I don't know. I think beautiful. Oh, I found another one. Oh, this one's a black one. Cody, look at. Mine's still oh. bigger, oh and I hold the record. Okay, so right here, Cody found a couple here. Look at, let's see the smile on your face. I was freaking out. That one and that one. So we got a gray and then a big Mine's old gray right bigger. here, Mine's right there. They're hard to find. So, but we're uh, doing pretty good here. Oh, Adding up in the bucket. Okay. Cody better add that up to his bucket. He's not catching dad at this rate. Yeah, but I'm doing good at this He's rate. He's doing dad, good. Dad here. Hey, okay, put it in oh, Cody's You bucket. found a bigger one? Yep. <sighs> yeah, the black one. So anyways, there's blacks, blondes, grays. There's actually a couple different kinds of blacks. The ones we found closer to the road are called, I think they're called naturals. Here one is. We're in a pretty good spot right now. This one's good. Good quality. So, anyways, Cody was expecting it to be good, but not that good. Oh, and see, I didn't even see it, and I almost put my hand on it. 
There's one right here too. Found some nice ones here. Luke just picked up a gray one. Oh, here. See if you see right them. Here. Luke, put them in Dad's bucket. These are beautiful. Oh, I'm putting them in no, the put them in Cody's. You guys are facing me. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Amy. So Cody and I just got into a really good spot. We got morels here, here. Hey, no, 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 no. You cut them things off. Okay. Right here, coming up. Nice fresh ones. Dad, there's one up there. So they're just everywhere through there. There's a bunch up there. There's a bunch right here. There's some coming up right here. Uh, if you can see them, right there. Watch where you're stepping. Don't step on them. They're just everywhere. He probably set his bucket down on some. Just insane. I probably picked 40 or 50. Here's our, some yeah, nice one. ones are coming up here. We're into an area where we're just picking right now. Here's one that I right next to where I set the bucket that I missed. I'm finding them all over here. Yeah, Cody's finding a bunch here. I'm... Yeah. Where was your whites, Cody? Two big white Where's your two big whites? One of them's gray and one of them's red, I think. Yeah! Good job, Cody. This is probably the new best spot. Yeah. I'm finding big bucket. ones and lots of them. Yeah. I found like half of those up here. There's one right next to your two next to your bucket. 11, 12. Oh, look right next to my foot. I almost stepped on them. Yeah, I know. Oh, we're in it too, guys. So we're really finding them now. And uh, you can see, you don't want to wear good clothes when you're in burn areas because uh you'll really stain them up oh there goes a bunny right in front of you it's under this bunny under there let's see look wow good work finding them whoop and then i did step on one bummer and this one and watch where you're stepping you keep looking Yep, I already saw those. You go pick yours. getting full here I mean filling a bucket up but they're all in great shape yeah there's grays and blacks and you can see he's getting them right there look over there okay, just piles I almost got half a bucket Cody's Cody's is getting pretty Cody, no I set those in there and wow them. Cody these are my biggest ones so when you're looking for a good spot on a burn area, you, you want to look to where the forest hasn't been burnt like all the way. Although they will come up in that. They generally come up in like the edges or where the burn wasn't as quite as hot. Like where there's uh, needles still on the ground. So there's a couple in here. Oh yeah, there's a few in here. Those guys... A little bit old but these ones right here great shape so this is what we're looking for a good patch this is a pretty good area you can see these little orange things coming up these little orange mushrooms they're called rain cups a lot of times these rain cups are a, a good indicator of where the morels will come up We're just walking through the woods on our second little pick here. And we're just kind of picking them. These ones are kind of bug eaten. We're just gonna let those ones go. Yeah, it's got a caterpillar in it. 
That one's good. Just kind of meandering through the woods, finding them very, very often. It's not like perfect, like where we're just picking, but that's in about a half hour. So that's, that's pretty good. There's a good one. For a while there, we were just picking through the woods. You'd, be, you'd find one and you'd look up and you'd see another one. Yep, there is another one right there. Where is it? Yep, there, he's got one over there. Someone had already picked in here too. So, this is the view we have. It's the Skelac Lake and the Kenai River flowing into it right there really neat so this looks like it's been picked over a lot of people been through here and this is our last spot that we're looking and we're not finding any here but it was such a beautiful day fun day to go down I think between all of us we probably found a little over a five gallon bucket worth of them. So I'd say we did pretty good. Okay, kids, let's go. All right, so this is the morels we found today. And uh, this was our best day yet. This is about, what, four hours maybe of mushroom picking, four or five hours of mushroom picking. And uh, we're excited because we love to eat these and they are just wonderful. We're gonna dry them up and have them for later. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.